I'm Dr. Patrick Fields, and we're here in the Olivet College Square, and today we're going to learn how to identify trees. So there are many ways to do this. We can look at flowers, we can look at fruit, we can look at bark, we can look at twigs, but one of the most trustworthy ways is to look at leaves. There is a cre incredible diversity in leaf shapes, sizes, colors, you name it. So one way to identify plants is simply do picture matching. So we have lots of books that show lots of leaf images, but it's pretty much a random process to identify them. An alternative is to get a professional book that gives a series of either or statements. They call it a dichotomous key. So we finally get to figuring out what our featured plant is. Here are some of those leaves we had outside. So we want to figure out what they are. The very first one is, does this have needle-like leaves or broad leaves? If it had needle leaves, we'd go to step number two. Alternatively, we go to 27. This is a broad leaf. The next asks if those leaves or buds are in an opposite orientation or an alternate orientation. And these came from a tree with alternate leaves. It next asks, are the leaves compound or simple? These are all simple leaves. Each of these had an axillary bud at its base. 63 says, if the leaf have neither teeth nor lobes, then you go to 64. If it has any sort of teeth, just as our plants do, then we go to number 73. If these leaves are bristle-tipped and evergreen, since ours are not, we're going to go to number 81. And it says if the tree has thorns or thorn-like twigs, then we go to 116. Alternatively, no thorns, we'll go to 82. If the margin is toothed or doubly toothed continuously all along all or most of the plant, then you go to 83. If it is not continuously toothed, we jump to 133. Ours go to 83. They have teeth all along the margins. 83 says, if the leaf is typically lobed, sawtoothed, and about as long as wide with three to five main veins, We would go to 141. Alternatively, we go to 84. Next, it asks if there are three main veins starting at or almost at the base of the leaf, go to 142. But alternatively, if there are typically five main lobes, rarely three or seven, and if the leaf is star-shaped and aromatic, then you have something called sweet gum. We need to do the one next step to confirm it. So we'll go to a book, a reference book, remember our Michigan trees, and we look at sweet gum. And if one reads the description, it exactly fits our plant. Craig Corpola. He was my favorite professor. He was my favorite professor because he took time um, to sit down and talk about ideas and argue and discuss and help me understand the things that I thought were important and help me to realize the things that maybe weren't. I think my favorite professor right now is Dr. Fields, Dr. Patrick Fields. Um, he is a wealth of knowledge and he is a very good instructor, and he's very thorough and patient and very personable uh, on a personal level. I feel like I can approach him at any time for any reason. Um, he's helped me with a scholarship that I won on campus for science, and he's just been a great person all the way around.